Thanks, Gary. Our first story concerns the much publicized sport of base jumping. To participate, one needs to be either very courageous or frankly have a few screws loose. Since the descents are so short, safety chutes are of no use. The sport is so dangerous that official parachuting organizations will not condone these often illegal jumps. Divers put it on the line for their sport. These people place all their faith in the few square meters of fabric strapped to their backs. Obviously, the physics of deploying a chute is critical. At jump schools like this one, students and the seasoned jumpers make sure they pull their chute by two and a half thousand feet above the ground. Anyone who goes lower than that is dicing with death. It takes around 200 feet of freefall before a parachute is fully operational. But for these jumpers, that leaves plenty of time to enjoy a safe ride. There are, however, a group of people who allow little margin for error. They call themselves base jumpers, and theirs are the most dangerous parachute jumps in the world. Their jumps are so dangerous, the Parachute Federation of Australia refuses to condone them. Base is an acronym of building, aerial, span and earth. Only after you have jumped from all four can you qualify as a base jumper. If you've got the guts, you'll need some money because base jumping is illegal and if you survive the jump, chances are you'll be arrested and fined. Steve Dines has parted with quite a bit of cash during his time with this exclusive club. At 21, Steve is Australia's youngest active base jumper. His mates say he'll be lucky to reach 22. OK, I'm gone. See ya. He started jumping from planes when he was 16 and leapt from his first landmark two years later. Now, if it's tall enough and it stands still, Steve will jump from it. And just for the record, Steve says he's scared of heights. Uh, base jumping is just good fun, just good fun, and uh, I like to have good fun, so that's why I go base jumping. If something did go wrong, it could result in injury or death. Well, my parents aren't very happy about it at all. They um, just wish that I did normal skydiving, but um, I enjoy this a little bit more. That's why I go to do, go and do it. You know, my father's a very conservative sort of person. He doesn't he doesn't like. It. Just doesn't work. Generally speaking, base jumpers who leap from natural landmarks are less likely to land in the arms of the law. So Steve and his peers often drive for hours in search of high, remote cliffs. Steve is heading for a secret base jump site hidden deep in the heart of a national park near Goulburn, New South Wales. The cliff is over 1,000 feet or 300 metres high and has never been jumped before. Last year, he almost killed himself further down this valley when his parachute twisted, slamming him into the cliff face. Today, he returns to conquer not only the cliff, but also his fear. It's, it's as safe as you make it. If you go to a lot of trouble to make it safe, it'll be safe. You, you get out of it what you put into it. Everybody fears death, otherwise, if you don't, there's, something, there's got to be something wrong with you. After several minutes at the site, Steve appears worried. Perhaps it's the 20 knot wind ripping up the gorge, or perhaps it's the thought of his last attempt. He decides against a jump today. He'll try again tomorrow. Next morning, conditions are ideal. Steve feels more confident. Today is the day. I think about how I packed the uh, parachute. I've, in my mind, I go through how I packed it, like even in the room that I packed it in or where I packed it. I just totally rewind it and watch it again in my mind. And then I, you know, close it again in my mind. And then I think, well, it's on my back. Everything mechanically is right. It's up to me to hold up the human, the human element. And I think I'm good enough to do that. So therefore, there's no reason why I shouldn't jump. So I jump.
expect. You're afraid. I mean, if you walk through a dark room and you don't know what's coming up next, you're afraid of tripping over something. But if you know what's in that dark room, you know what to expect. You're not afraid. <laughs>